Right lads, Bandit here just doing a quick video to show you my render settings and colour correction because I've had a lot of requests for this recently. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is just open up this, I think it's some World at War gameplay. The first thing you're going to want to do is have your preview box set to best full. Even if you've got a shit, shit computer, it doesn't really matter because you're not going to be playing through the video. Then you want to just skip through your video looking for a good place where there's like lots of different colours so like this would do because of the trees all of that shit blah blah uh, first thing you're going to want to do is right click it go on properties disable resample and that gets rid of the motion blur then you're going to want to click this to crop it and I've already got a preset crop done but basically you just want to pull that down and that to the side a bit just to get rid of the black lines so my colour correction I add sharpen I leave it on reset to none because I think any more makes the video look crap. Then I add brightness and contrast, put the contrast up to 10 and the brightness up to 8. This is usually what I have. Sometimes I have more or less depending on the game or the map or something like that. And the last thing it adds colour corrector studio RGB to computer RGB. And that just brings out the colours and stuff. And that is basically it for my colour correction. So sharpen, brightness and contrast and colour corrector studio RGB to computer RGB and that's it so my render settings I render in WMV because it's half the file size of MP4 so it's half the render time as well and I can't notice a difference in the quality I render in 6 MB whatever the fuck that is basically go on the drop down menu it's that one the highest quality 720p I don't bother rendering in 1080 because it will make the render time longer and I can't notice a difference in quality and so you're going to want to go on custom audio I don't change that, video I put the frames to 30 if it was a montage or something I would put it up to 59.94 but again that's going to make the render time longer so there's not much point and there's not much of a difference um, bit rate don't even change that, I don't have a clue what this is um, project video render quality is best and that is it click OK and then render your video so if you like the video um, if you like the settings of the colour correction or whatever if this helps you just give it a like and if you've got any questions leave a comment cheers, safe, bye